Yep. Hey guys. Uh, I was just like thinking in the uh, Shrouded Avenger here. Uh, on this fine October 2nd morning. That's uh, gonna be hard. Okay, uh. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard to do. Uh, well, first things first. Asperger's syndrome, or Asperger's syndrome, or however you want to pronounce it, is a high functioning form of autism. Now, generally, you can uh, associate your. Um, the symptoms of Asperger's syndrome are usually a, uh, it's a kind of a, uh, how do you explain, how do I explain this? Um, generally a person diagnosed with this does not, does not like social situations heavily crowded areas. Uh, sometimes their speech can be a little flat and sometimes they'll trip over their words. But uh, just clarifying a few things. Well, let me go back to the symptoms. As another one of the symptoms is that they tend to have kind of an obsessive compulsive thing. And they don't have very many interests, but the few that they do, they are like die hard in these things. I mean, well, whatever it is, news. For some, it's anime. For others, it's music. And but that being said, uh, okay, I kind of lost my train of thought here for a second. All right, um, all right, back to what I was <laughs> going at. Um, thing a lot of people tend to get mixed up is autism and retardation, mental retardation. Now, well, a lot of kids with autism tend to tend to uh, express symptoms of mental retardation. That it's not at all what it is. Now, sure, they may have it doubled with slight mental retardation. But all in all, that's not what's causing them to be like that. As a matter of fact, people with Asperger's syndrome don't express any real uh, mental retardation at all. Now, believe it or not, there's a lot of famous people out there that have Asperger's syndrome. You can remember them by name. People will be sitting there going, What? There's famous people with Asperger's syndrome? You're like, Yeah, there are. And for people who are hyper political, did you know that Thomas Jefferson expressed symptoms of Asperger's syndrome and was suspected of having Asperger's syndrome? Did you know uh, Sir Isaac Newton was and Aspie. Uh, let's see who else. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was an Aspie. He conducted the most beautiful music ever. Thomas Jefferson. He helped write the Constitution. 
And I say helps because he wasn't the only one that did it. Everybody pitched in their own ideas and everything. But anyway, moving on. Daryl Hannah, for those of you who remember Kill Bill, was L Driver. She was diagnosed with autism. I'm, I, if I remember correctly, it's Asperger's syndrome that she might have been. But I don't, I don't remember exactly. All I know is she confessed to being autistic, and she played a really good bad guy, at least in my opinion. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Well, there's Adam Lanza, but that's more of a negative side, and he had personality disorders to go with. So, yeah. And people will argue constantly that autistics are violent. But that's just their personal bias. They're trying to feed me, you know, spoon feed me their, ideolo their ideologies as though they're gospel truth. You're relying on bias. I'm relying on years of scientific research done by men and women with PhDs that study this for a living. I think your argument is officially invalid. But, uh, that being said, people with Asperger's syndrome, uh, would they be normal or not normal? Well, nobody is really normal. Let's just get that down. You know, everybody expresses uh, per symptoms of personality disorders of some sort. But that doesn't necessarily mean they have a personality disorder. It just means that they're you know, whatever, but anyway. People with Asperger's syndrome or Aspies tend to be a little awkward socially, but that doesn't mean they're they're completely incapable of functioning. No, it's it's an an utmost introversion, if you will. They won't go up to you and speak. No, you gotta, you gotta kind of go to them and speak. And, and a lot of people would be like, "Well, that's kind of dumb." Well, why can't he just come up? Why just can't? Why can't he just come up to us and talk to us? That's the thing about Asperger's syndrome. Is uh, the introversion part. They tend to be very shy. Now don't don't be discouraged by their unwillingness to come forward. That doesn't mean they hate you. As a matter of fact, they enjoy your company. It just means they they don't they can't quite adapt to a social situation. Now, and this last little bit's going to be really hard.
what I'm getting what I'm getting at is this little this little uh ending part that's going to be a shock to almost anyone. Uh, when I was six, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. There. I said it. Awkward silence. This has been a confessional sort of gig from Moses Lexington, which, uh, by the way, is not really my real name, it's just an alias, but whatever. And, well, I guess that's all I got to say about that. So, the Shrouded Avenger out. Practice!